I'd like to introduce you to identify and report professional for the iPad. This is not a regular iPad application, but this is a full-on database program for the iPad. We are trying to make the iPad think it's a computer. First thing I'd like you to notice is in the upper left hand corner we are not connected to any Wi-Fi or anything. No 3G. This is a standalone program of about 14 different modules installed on the iPad. From here I'd like to show you that our system runs on what we call a default report. You can always enlarge the screen so you can make it larger to see. Here I'll select a default report. From the default report, you can make all your edits and changes here, such as California property. Gee, I only inspect in California. So let's change that to California. So now every time I start a new inspection, that will be California. The same thing with all the fields on the order form. Anything you'd like to change, you can. You can also import the agent information directly if you'd like, because that's a standalone database that works with the iPad. From here, I'll go directly to the report. One thing with the iPad, you got to hold the buttons down for just a second so it recognizes them. All right, for here, this is the, the default report. Here are all the main sections of your report. I'll just go to kitchen for now. Well, here, let's go to interior. Hello, interior. There we are. Now this is the default report. You can set up all the identifiers that you'd like in the areas that you'd like. So these are all editable. You can change everything. When you get out of the identifiers, you're going to go into the subsection, such as we're in the interior rooms. I'll go into interior walls. See if I touched it long enough? Nope. Takes a little bit of getting used to. So here I can select a comment for the interior walls. This is the comment I want. I paste it right into the report. Now it actually becomes part of the report. When I'm all finished, I want to build a summary. So I click here and I actually build a summary. I can come back and read the summary because it's it was already built. We just didn't see it in the background. That big button. This is the actual summary itself. So you can see how that works. Now, let's get back to the main menu. So you can see we have literally typed nothing and we can select our comments from the database of comments. There's literally thousands of comments. You also have your contract. You can have your disclaimers. We have all of our disclaimers set up in your default. If you want to change anything, such as the recommendations, the room names, or anything like that, you change it right here on the iPad because it is a standalone program. Let's shrink that back down. Now, let's start a new inspection. I'll go through, start new inspection. I'll make a report ID number. Normally, the actual uh, screen typewriter appears, but I have a wireless one. Uh, I'm going to just say my last... I normally use the first three initials of the client's last name and the date of the inspection. Uh, let's see, 0813311. And did I either use the default report that I just showed you, or I can come by and select a template and I can show you how that works later. So now you're on the order form. It already wants to know the date and time of the inspection. You can fill out the order form, as I explained before. When you're all finished, if you click to the lower right, print, you'll actually print the contract, the standards of practice, and the invoice. Oh, you might want to see the invoice while we're here. Let's just take a look. So all the information would be filled out on the invoice right straight from the order form. That's the beauty of a database environment. Now from here, we can go directly to the inspection itself. If you'll notice down here across the bottom, this is what we call an inspection index. Basically, main menu is where we started. Then we went to the order form. Now we're on the report menu. Here's the different sections of the actual inspection. When we're all finished, we click print to a PDF file or to a printer. That's all there is to it. So here, I'll just jump directly to exterior. 
Now we're on the exterior page. These are exterior comments only. I picked the one that applies. Copy it to our inspection. As you can see, now it becomes the actual part of the inspection report. Also, I can do my identifiers up here. The front of house is facing north. How about northwest? Then the next one is exterior is stucco and wood and a little bit of stone. So now let's say we've done all of our identifiers on all the different sections. When we're all finished, all we have to do is take a picture. This is where I want the picture to go. I'll say take photo. This is going to be tricky because this is a low light photo. Look at that, light bulb. I'll use it. You'll see it right here. Zoom in, make a comment. You do have a library of exterior comments just for the photos, by the way. Come back up here. You can type anything you want on the photo and it goes right into the actual comment itself. If you wanted to, you could even edit the comments from here. There's the comments. You just add one, change it, do anything you want, go right back to the photos. When you're all finished, all you'd have to do is click print the report to a printer file, a printer or a PDF file, and that's basically all there is to do in an inspection. That's the basics on identifying report for the iPad. Good day.